What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today is May the 3rd. Happy Friday, everyone. I want to give you a quick pre-market update and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So today you did have the unemployment rate come in a little bit higher than the forecast and then the non-farm payroll a little bit lower than the forecast. So not necessarily the best. But despite that, though, you do have the broader market rallying because of Apple earnings as well as because of this data and yesterday you have now the market saying that there's going to be two rate cuts of 25 basis points a piece in 2024 so the market is rallying as a byproduct of both of those kind of situations so I think all in all, pretty good stuff. Looking right here, fear and greed index is at 39. So people's appetite for risk is improving compared to yesterday. But Without further ado, let's get right to the actual stocks. So SoFi, it is up 2.29%. No news, no SEC filings, nothing along those lines. Yesterday's shorts did return a small amount. So today, uh, with the optimism, it is fair to assume that they would do the exact same thing. But we already do know when it comes down to SoFi, it really likes to get suppressed to the closest strike price. So you might see more of a suppression, especially if it is below this right here of this pivot of 711. If it is, like I said, below that, then you might see market makers trying to suppress it below that $7 mark. But as it stands, it is above that. So hopefully it does carry forward. Maybe market makers give in and start to kind of cover today rather than Monday, but we'll just have to wait and see. Pretty good stuff, nice recovery. Aside from that, you do have this company, so Helios Medical, HSDT. It is up 31.2% based off of no news, no SEC filings, nothing along those lines so this always does worry me because they recently did announce a pretty significant dilution or issuance um, i guess i should say so whenever there's no news yeah obviously the technicals could justify somewhat of a rally but like it's not really sustainable in my opinion and so it is on this list because of the abnormal amount of volume that is getting in but still tread cautiously because with it at $3.37, the next support is 308. So it could be in a world of pain for a free fall as soon as the market does open. Vice versa, 383 will be that next strong target. And I don't anticipate that getting touched anytime soon, unless something of substance does come out to kind of justify why it's up. And then this ticker right here, amazing ticker, W-O-W, so Wide Open West, it is up 21.4% because of a takeover. So essentially, if you're looking at trading this, just do not pay more than 480. And you can take that as financial advice because like they're getting taken over for four dollars and eighty cents so why would you ever pay more than that it just does not seem logical unless you want tax deductions or whatever else but in my opinion takeovers sometimes are very lengthy in time so even though they do list a price of 480 a lot of different situations could occur and change so this is why you do see some level of hesitation and why it's at 460 but aside from that though like not really much to trade because it is above this r3 so i don't anticipate really any pullback or anything along those lines apple is up 7.03 percent they did have their earnings kick-ass earnings so they did beat kind of gave somewhat mixed future guidance but at the same time they did raise their dividend the highest record ever buyback so i think that was 110 billion dollars so yeah apple definitely has saved the broader market one last time or one another time but with that 185 and change it is at this r3 right above this r3 so definitely you will want to watch for this to hold if not it is just going to trade within this range so this r2 and this r3 which definitely could happen and then aside from that palantir is up 4.12 percent they do have their earnings as you can kind of see on the sixth post market so after hours and based off of looks like no news and no sec filings to really justify why it is up this morning maybe there's something on social media but no official news as you can kind of see right here um so yeah uh kind of interesting stock when it comes to palantir though with it right now at 2346 it is right below this r1 so watch for this 2357 to be the next strong target but in my opinion 
like without substantial pieces of news, unless this is just FOMO leading into their earnings, I don't really see it breaking above this R1 to be justified. So in my opinion, it'll probably just trade between this range or, or closer to this R1 throughout the whole day. So that's just my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on all of that. What stocks are you buying? What stocks are you selling? One final thing I just wanted to share with you as I always do. So this website right here goes over the top five AI picks. And so let's run this and see what they are saying for bias today. So AMGN is a long in case you are new to the channel. It goes over the explanation on why it is a buy. Um, so it is definitely thinking very slow. So again, AMGN long BKNG long. So bookings, I remember trading bookings a while back, but TWST is a long and LOCO long. So El Pollo Loco. And then finally, number five is long on EBS. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to also take advantage of this promo and I'll move it over so that way you guys can see this still. But don't forget to take advantage of this promo link in the description below and also the comments simply throw $100 at a new account and you do get seven fractional shares of the Meg 7. So a pretty kick ass deal link in the description below and also the comments with all that said, appreciate all of you watching.